Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Rosalyn. Uh, this is my Let's Play of Dragon Quest XI. Uh, where we left off last time, we were making our way... We made our way from the, uh, the slums area of the castle city and we are wound up in this little forest area. And we're trying to get back... Uh, basically, we're, we're on our way to pick up this orb that uh, Kamu apparently stole eventually, uh, in the past. And it's been transported to a temple that's being guarded kind of down in the southeast area. Um, but we couldn't get out the south gates of the main city, so we had to kind of take this roundabout path to get there. Uh, and on our way, we are going to be stopping by uh, our home village, make sure everything's okay. And right when we left off, we got the ability to craft, but we can only craft at a camp here like this. So we're going to go ahead and camp one more time, and, uh, so there's another item I could have crafted here that I kind of want to try out. Here we go. So last time I crafted a sword, and it looks like this time I'm going to be crafting a dagger. Nice. Oh, try it one more time or not to try it one more time. I think I'm actually going to leave it as is. They're both in the green, so it should make a pretty good dagger. significantly better. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. I didn't get a chance to save last time because it just kind of forced me through this. shop guy here this time. Alright, we'll rest until morning. Uh, see if there's any items in here and then we'll head out. Now, I do want to uh, apologize. When I first started this Let's Play, I said I was using a Astro headset. Uh, it's kind of like my mic and everything. And, uh, that is true, but apparently the entire time, um, I've actually been using the mic that was, that's on my laptop that I'm recording on, and not through the, uh, Astro's microphone. Uh, but when I tried doing some test recordings on voice to get the levels right on the Astro, um, every single time, the, uh, no, what's it called? Yeah, the mic on the on the computer actually came in clear, so it's gonna sound like I'm farther away because um, I actually am sitting away from the uh, computer, but I'm actually not using the microphone that is on um, that's on my headset. Uh, I couldn't get it to sound right, so I do apologize for that. But uh, it it sounds better this way. Trust me. Now, that was actually a book here, so I know I just camped, but I'm going to do it again and check out what new recipes I just got. Don't think I got any weapons. Yeah, they were both, um... Okay, yes, yeah, so I got a shield and some armor. This uses... These use the same... Okay, they do use the same thing. 
Oh, but it doesn't matter, so only he can wear it. I'm gonna go ahead and craft it, though. Uh, okay. So I can make both of them just fine without worrying about running out of items to make enough for everybody, since only the hero can actually use them. Okay, this looks different. Um, whoa. Okay, how did that come out? Looks like it just barely got what I needed. It's almost like this is a puzzle. I wonder if there's like a set way you do this and then it always comes out like perfect if you do it in the right order. Oh, it's just a plus one. <laughs> oh well. Not a big deal. Not trying to make anything like super good or whatnot. Start with this one. Um, and try here. Nice. Nice. The heat's gone down. Okay, so there's heat. Okay, I'm starting to kind of figure it out here. Uh, okay. So I'm starting to kind of figure it out. Um, some of these are longer and shorter, and the green zone is, you know, smaller and wider in certain ones. It looks like that um, managing heat along with which one I'm hitting first and which ones I'm not plays a big role in being able to get these effective where it's like, it's like only, where it's yellow and it looks like a, like a perfect. Um, so I guess as I continue practicing with making items, I'll have to look at or continue to observe how the system works and see if I can't really figure it out. Hmm. I actually think it's a pretty interesting little system for crafting. Kamu is probably like, dude, what are we doing? Why aren't we, why aren't we moving? So this was only a plus one, but that's not a big deal. And I like using this gold vest, but I mean, this is just too big of an increase to not use. Maybe I can give Kami the gold vest then. So it doesn't lower his stats as much. What do I want to do? I mean, I should really look into just how much it's actually increasing my stats. Or the amount of gold, I mean. Dog gonna follow me? What is this?
to see. So it's basically, basically, it's a prankster devil. That's that treasure chest that was empty. See, so looks like we can use our little our hero powers to examine certain things in the map. And now we're gonna go check out that chest. I opened it, so I mean, I assume since the story event, just because I opened it when it was empty, doesn't mean I won't be able to progress. It'd be kind of dumb if that was the case. That old man got turned into a dog. Itazura Debiru, prankster demon. steal anything from him. Nope. Doesn't have anything. That's well, good to know, though. It actually tells you if they don't have anything to steal at all. I think I'm fine. Now he's getting a little bit low, so go ahead and heal him. Looks like the old man is back to being an old man. It's not really old, middle aged.
So obviously he's like, is there anything I can do for you guys, you know, saving me? And obviously what we want is for him to fix the bridge so that we may continue on with our journey. Okay, so apparently the reason I was able to, or the old man thinks, old man, the middle-aged man thinks the reason I was able to see kind of what happened in the past is because um, that little sprout that we examined when it reacted to um, the hero's crest, the hero's leg, I guess I call it the hero's crest, I think on, his, on my arm, is uh, basically it was from the guidance of the tree of life. So these are apparently the roots of the Tree of Life. Alright, so now we can proceed on with our journey. So looks like we have some areas to explore before going off to the next area. This guy here we can talk to. Huh, I do want to buy a couple of these. By four. It's a lot of gold, but they were used a lot in the uh, recipes I just made, so I want to make sure I still have extras. There's one of these cows. Hmm, so they're explaining the, uh, <clears throat> the weather the current weather and the upcoming weather, so I assume that, I guess at some point that plays an effect, but right now I'm not going to worry about it.
And these guys are appropriately named Pig Hats. I wonder if I can get any items later on that increase the steel success rate. Because with these guys, it's not that uh, I can't steal from them. Because I can, um, it's just not. It actually says, like, if you can't steal anything, it, it actually says that they don't have any items. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, I'm just gonna forget about stealing from these guys. Yeah, he's just taking way too much damage. I'm gonna go ahead and just give him a better better chest pieces. I don't, I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal on the gold that we get. At least I hope not. Nothing again. Man, he just takes so much damage. I mean, I guess he's not using his shield and his armor is worse by a significant amount, but still. damage. Here we go, here's some items. Okay, but it looks like in this game, you, ap you actually have to have the uh, recipe in order to be able to craft an item. You can't just you know, look it up online and know what you need and craft it. Just fine, I guess. Uh, let's go from the south first. I was looking earlier online at the skill tree and stuff on the game and whatnot. I mean, I did find maps online that told where all the items are on the world maps and in the dungeons, but uh, I'm gonna try not to use those.
There we go. Now, I could use their special, the guaranteed item from here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the, uh, the zone for the next battle I get into, and I'll use it there. Nice little area with some items there. What are they going on about? Okay, yeah, so if you come into this pause menu, you can see a little blue circle in the upper right of the uh, picture frame for the characters that shows that they are in the zone. Here's a good test. Does changing areas uh, cancel out being in the zone or not? No, it doesn't. Good to know. Oh, what did I just do there? I just healed everyone the full. Apparently, hitting square when you're in this menu will automatically heal everyone the full. Obviously, using items and whatnot, but. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop there for now. Um, in the next episode, we'll continue on. Uh, we're on our way to the Village of the Rock, so... We just got to... Well, it looks like we're almost... We're literally right there, so we just got to go south from here. But that's where we'll head off in the next episode. Uh, so if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comment section. And, uh, I mean, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. 